Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, I've had to do a bit of a restart on the series here. I was having some some server-related issues that were starting to uh, be a little bit of an inconvenience and annoyance to me. Uh, one of them just happened to be those docking ports. I don't know what it is, but uh, I would either would not be able to disconnect from it, or I wouldn't be able to connect to it at uh, like the, the big miner ship that I had there. For some reason, that thing just would not connect unless I took both docking ports off and placed them back on, powered the ship off, powered it back up. Uh, I don't know if it, got to, it has anything to do with the fact that it weighed 22,000 tons when I tried to dock it, but yeah, that was an issue. I was having uh, a lot of rubber banding on the on the base where I had the big BCP lab sign there. Uh, trying to get through a door was like trying to trying to walk up upstream wearing lead boots and you know a, par a parachute behind you holding you back, but. Uh, so yeah, I tried to thought I'd go back to the single player offline and see if I still have those issues. But uh, at least one thing for sure, I'll know what I know what I'm doing this time. So that is definitely good. So of course I got to go around and see what there is in the area. So I'm gonna get myself a little situated and I'll bring you back when it's time to get some progression going. The very very first thing I just happen to find is cobalt. I haven't found anything else except for this, and I'm like. Two kilometers away. Uh, we, I might have to relocate here, and this is what I'm thinking because it dropped me right off in the mountain there. I got cobalt, so should have something close by. And I got the silver. This is, uh, that's a cobalt. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end up relocating down here. So what? What I think I'm gonna do because I know I can process some stone. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to about getting a little bit, a bit more flight on that thing and. Maybe in the morning we'll come down here, let's see what I have. I haven't even found ice yet, but this might be an okay area. I know you can look for dark spots, but like, is that going to be the dark spot there or right over there? But yeah, it might be a little bit better over in this area, I think. So uh, that's what I shall do. Uh, I will bring you back when, we get that pot, when I get that pod flight ready. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be crash worthy because I'll be flying it. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, I got myself everything I need to get a few more thrusters on here. We'll actually just pick this up and we'll, we'll move it down there. I actually did label it this time. I <laughs> kind of got lost. I forgot where the cobalt was. But there's cobalt and silver there. I'm hoping I can find iron and ice. Uh, you'd think with all the snow around here, there'd be ice everywhere. But. I already picked up one, I didn't get much, I got a leopard rifle out of it, but I'm going to go check this one out, see if there's any goodies that I can get out of here. Okay, I didn't fill up right away, I do have inventory space, and by the way, I did go with the, the max settings, just for the sake of it. You know, when you're building with big blocks, 25 plates takes up a lot of space in your inventory, and that's for one block. Oh wow, this one's way up here way up here the other one was playing a little game of keep away so I took its engine off and it tumbled down the hill oh, this is going to be fun actually what I can do uh, let's get out of the way let's, let's see if we can stop it aha that's ah, thinking outside the box alright what do you have Huh? You got anything good for me? Oh, leopard suit. Yay. Uh, one of the things I didn't notice, uh, I never actually checked until now, uh, but under this, if you go into the pilot seat of the, or the passenger seat of the, uh, what do we call it, the drop pod there, that there's actually a rifle in there. I did not know that. But anyways, uh, let's take this thing apart. Metal grid could come in handy. Uh, as far as what I plan on doing it this time around, there was a couple of projects I w was going to work on. Uh, I wanted to start getting into a little more complicated things and doing, working on some projects that I haven't really been able to until until now. Uh, one, of them, one of those projects just happens to be one that has been on the channel a few times uh, in many different in a few different forms. I uh, don't know how well it's going to work in this one, but I seem to have more control over what I can do. 
And there was also something I was planning on doing in the previous series, but I never quite got around to it because in that game it wasn't feasible. But this game, I'm pretty sure it is. And I'm sure some of you watching that have seen a lot of my old videos understand what I might be able to do. But anyways, uh, sun is going down, of course. I am on half an hour a day cycle. Uh, progression didn't do too much. Just got up to the refining and all that stuff. Light, whatever. Do a light, that's pretty cheap. Uh, next is going to be assembler, but I don't want to get this set up until, until I get down there where the cobalt is. So I do have to find some iron too, but... Uh, let's actually do this. But yeah, I did not know about this. You go in here and go into the inventory, and there's actually a rifle and some ammo, which is good because I could dis disassemble it. Haha. <laughs> now to take the seat out without destroying the battery in behind it. That's good to buy older, uh, early game tools. You don't have to worry about them destroying everything. Alright, so now I just gotta put a cockpit in here, and I probably have to make some glass, but I gotta have some silicon. Uh, actually, I wonder if I can fly from my control station. I've never actually tried that. Oh, there we go. We'll just do a flight seat then. We're not going into space, don't need it. Does it not fit in there? But it doesn't say a large flight seat. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to stick a cockpit in there then. No big deal. I probably should put a gyro on here. Just to be on the safe side. And you don't want to fit in there, do you? Oh, you do. I know we'll put this cockpit. What's in there? What is in there? Now it goes. Haha. <laughs> of course I gotta make some glass, so let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I just need a few more motors to finish off the last uh, thruster. But since we're gonna move it anyways, I'm gonna take this down. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping I can find something. I didn't bother going up there. These hills are a bit of a nightmare, but I am gonna use them to my advantage. Because uh, if I'm going down there, uh, the peak of that hill should be like right at the end of atmospheric thruster range. So I'm thinking about having uh, my vehicles a little differently. They won't be single stage all the way. I'll be using atmospheric atmospheric ships to get up to the top. And then that's where I'm going to have like uh, hydrogen production. And any ships leaving there are going to be using hydrogen or ion at the time. Well, I don't think ion will work up there. But hydrogen at least. And at least that way it saves me time and saves me fuel. Okay, that is empty. Uh, that is empty. And I'm not going to have room. <laughs> There's never have room. Actually, let's fill this up. Let's finish up that thruster. Uh, if, I have enough if I have enough battery power, I'm actually going to use the ore detector and see if I can find anything else around there. Like maybe some, some ice would be really handy. Same with inventory space. I can't put it in there, but I can put it in here. Uh, just put all the raw stuff in here. Why not? Uh, no point in putting cobalt in there. Like that and of course this. Now it's supposed to be a small container on here, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there's a cockpit. Aha. Wait. I want that. Of course. Alright, and that is that. So let me get that out of my hand before I destroy something I want to keep. Uh, let me just sit my thrusters here. Uh, Why is it only showing four thrusters? Uh, hang on a second here. They're working. They're not showing up in the control panel though. I have no idea. No idea why. Oh, let's find out if this thing actually flies. not I guess I have to rebuild them all right and not a problem let me do that and I'll be right back all right there they are 
All right, so let's turn them off, turn them back on, get out of here, unlock the legs. <laughs> I forgot a landing gear. Oh, jeez. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> gyroscope. I'm sure it's just a small gyroscope. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see where I put this. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that. Oh, there's a big thruster there. I did not see that before. Hmm, where should I stick this thing? I don't think it really matters where it goes. And of course, I actually need supplies to build it. Hmm, well, I'll just put it down here by the landing gear. Why not? And motors and construction components. Let me finish this up, I'll bring you back. Yeah, I can't fix it like this. I actually gotta roll it over. So now we dig it out and pray to God it doesn't go anywhere. And pray to God it doesn't actually crush me at the same time too. Careful. It's not super heavy, but it's enough to it's enough to hurt. Oop. Yes, I have had to do this before in different games. Nothing like trying to dig out your ship. At least if I die, I'll die. I'll respawn here. This is the redneck way of doing it. And I think I should be able to get it out now. I believe so. That's why I can actually get to the cockpit. Good. It's right here. Yep, come on. One more gyro would help on this one. Aha. And why are you not giving me a third person? Aha, there we go. So we are flying now. We are flying a uh, rescue pod. No, we're not going far, we're just going over here. Surprising this battery's actually gonna hold up. But I did see an area over here I was thinking about sort of using somewhat flat. I'm trying to figure out what it was. It was down here. And well, like I said, I haven't really seen too much of what is available down here. But since we do have some juice, let's go take a look. See what we have to our disposal. I know this ore detector's got about a 50 meter range. And this thing is pretty slow to slow down. Mind you, I'm only using one thruster. But, let's, let's look around for these uh, dark spots. Yes, the mad engineer. People want to call me the mad scientist, I call myself the mad engineer. I guess I could be both. Although some sometimes I wonder myself. I'm not really seeing too much as far as these dark patches go. But where was that area I was looking at? You know, this place almost looks like a golf course. I <laughs> I really have to do say. But let's see here. We got lots of areas. I might actually keep the engines on this thing for now. Keep it flight worthy. Yeah, you never f never see them when you want to find them. But anyways, so I got the cobalt and silver over here. And I'm not sure, but I think this is the area I was thinking about settling down for at for now. I'm not too sure. Go we'll take a quick look over here, and then probably end up sitting up there. Uh, I pretty much just have to get a whole bunch of stuff going for the the main assembler, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, progression in these types of games—it's never hard because it's just build and build and build, and you're done. I was thinking about turning the progression off, but yeah, it, it sometimes it's kind of 
nice to have that extra challenge knowing that you have to get a specific resource to build something you don't really need just just so I can get to it yeah so that's where the cobalt and silver is uh, actually dug down somewhere around here can't remember where oh, actually looks like a nice little area over here let's let's go land over here and I think that's where we're gonna go and as I was saying I'm thinking about setting up some sort of staging area there eventually with a lot of hydro production there we go I think we're on the seventh hole here what do you think a par three just for the hell of it I should put a couple of uh, uh, whole flags, maybe to make a cup, just you know, just something about the size of a ship, just for the sake of it, or even something I could use those as uh, gravity responsive spherical balls that they have that are these really high tech gadgets that are round and roll. But let's go ahead and I'm gonna get back in there actually. I want to turn the thrusters off just to save battery power. I don't think this has any type of RTG or anything like that. I'm gonna get out. I am going to right myself because I was upside down when I got in the thing. And I dump off a whole bunch of inventory. And then we're gonna go check out that thing here. Uh, where is it? Over there. How much hydrogen do I have? Not enough. Alright. Top me up. Please, sir, may I have another? There we go. Thought the bar was closed for a minute there. Alright, let's go. Got my eight tool ready. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I'll, next, I definitely want to try to get one of those unknown, the strong unknowns. Uh, the closest I got to one, it was two two kilometers underground. So I've had uh, to dig, was it two kilometers? I think it was. I also can't remember. Who knows, maybe I can find myself a good set of tools. It's usually what I find. And what's this one gonna do? Nothing. It's dead in the water. Not free iron, why not? Always. Where's the button? And nothing. Just a whole bunch of free parts. And I will not complain. Because even when you got 20,000 of them, you can go through them pretty quick, especially the way I build. Uh, especially if I decide to take on some really big projects. Uh, one that has come up a few times, and uh, yes, I have considered it, and I probably will end up doing it, but it would be uh, uh, Atlantis from Stargate. Again, I uh, probably mentioned it before, but I have not actually seen the, seen the show or seen it in the show. But I have seen pictures of it. And I'm aware of what I'm up against, and I'm aware that it may break the game. And believe me, I will try my best to make it happen. But anyways, but even then, with a sixty-five thousand actual block limit, it shouldn't be that hard. I thought I'd just comb the area as we fly back here. Oh yes, I moved my pod. Did I? Yeah, I moved it over here, I think. Yes, I did. That's right. Oh, no, it's right there. That's right. There is a beacon on it. Ha ha ha. Anyways, uh, it's getting a little dark. I want to look around so we can find some iron. A few other things and then uh, I'll bring it back. We'll, we'll get a little stutter thing going on and... Uh, maybe end up working our way up there eventually. I'm not too sure, but I shall return. Well, I haven't been finding too much. Like, I've been finding the gold, silver, cobalt, nickel, silicon, yada, yada, yada. But I have not been able to find any ice. So what I'm th thinking we're going to do, I'm going to do, I'll fire this bad boy up. I'm going to take it for a bit of flight and see what we can find. And... What's going on here? Come on. I turn those things on. What's going on here? Yeah. 
should be working. There you go. All right. Well, I know it has enough thrust. I know it has a gyroscope this time. So I went that way, but I'm not too sure what's around. I was going to go up at the, the bottle, use the jetpack to go up, but I figured this would be easier. Plus, it's easier to spot stuff. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, that area over there, I looked all over there, and I haven't been able to find anything like a. Oh, no, the other stuff. Oh, there's a green area over here. Let's go check this out. See what we can find. Spawn be right in the mountains too. Anyways, uh, since I do have a little bit of juice, let me go for a peek over the hill there and see if I can find something. Because I'd like to find an ice lake if I could, uh, and also close to the mountains because you can see that we're pretty high up, so we're closer to space. But anyways, I'll be right. I'll I'll be back with some results, maybe. Alright, I finally found the ice. So there's ice here. I was using the third person to look out. So there's a patch of ice there, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff nearby. Uh, hit the wrong button. Of course I did. I'm BC. Wrong button, BC. Anyway, let's go see what we have up here. Which is good because I am completely at ice now. And it's looking like it's a big patch. There's some silicone over here. And I'll take a chance and see there's going to be iron up here too. Let us see. Uh, we've got all these dark patches here. This is almost like a starting zone. You get all your basics here. At the start, I realize if I really wanted to, I could just grind stone forever, but what do you do with all the gravel? Especially this early in the game. Uh, let's see here. There's another patch over here. Let's go see what this is. It's kind of cheaty. Being able to see the dark patches. Oh, there's got to be something there. It's dark. X ray vision. Then again, though, I'm running around with a magic drill that can detect things. Wow. Technically, no different than today. Is there not anything here? Oh, it must be deep. Alright, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Yes, I'll just run along here and see if something shows up. It's got to be some iron. It's the only thing I'm looking for. And again, I forgot to mark the ice. It doesn't matter. Because that was a huge chunk and it's right behind me. And I'm not finding anything here. Let's go over here. Don't always trust it, but eh, I'm, it's within walking distance. It's not the end of the world. Wow, I'm not getting anything. Hmm. Looks like I might have to look around a little bit more. There's another patch over here. Let's go over here quickly. Well, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to end up moving uh, an escape pod to where the ice is. Because that's going to be important. That's going to be personal fuel so I can jetpack around. Until I get things set up. Iron. There we go. Alright, so, we got iron here, uh, let me mark this, I didn't get the ice, but, uh, yeah, I'll mark this, I'll find the iron, yeah, I'll mark this, I'll find the ice, and then I'll move the, the pod in between, and I will be right back when I've got that done. Okay, I'm it's all set up, I already went ahead and got some ice, I got about five five tons of ice in there so at least I got some some jetpack fuel for now uh, so now I, of course we need to go ahead and start getting some basic things set up uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by placing a couple blocks here because I want to get solar, uh, some wind turbines up uh, the last one I had put up I had actually put up higher than I did uh, in the other 
on the server there and it didn't really seem to go any higher than 315 so I'm not gonna worry about going too high but I will go a good five or six at least oops we'll just get one going for the time being but I will branch off and make sure I can get two up here and we'll just go like that uh, someone had suggested uh, if they're there's more space between them they will generate more power but I have not actually seen that myself okay so now let's go ahead and get a wind turbine back on the hotbar it's actually quicker to go here because I know it's right at the bottom and elevator up up we go I might even get two of them just for the sake of it see how expensive it is guys one and Need girders, of course I do. But I can't do that until I get the assembler rebuilt, so or the basic assembler. I gotta get a whole bunch of plates for the the big assembler because that was like a twelve hundred plate thing. Come on, on the right, on the block, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this doesn't have conveyors. That's fine, because I'm gonna do some progression and try to get up into the basic, uh, to the main assembler, which is actually cheaper than I thought it was. Let's actually do that. I think I have enough for it. Put that down there, get out of here, and we'll just zap that away. Nobody saw it. It was never here. And let's see. There we go. Now, is there a conveyor on that side? No, there isn't. Really? I thought there was a conveyor on both sides because I wanted to be able to access the refinery as well. Hmm. Well, that's why we do this. And then I can put the, I guess, base refinery. I don't think I can afford the big refinery right now. Yes, we are long many plates away for that. Doesn't mean we can't have a basic. That is fine. Now, where are those conveyors on this? Oh, I'll do the same way. Oh, really? All right, fine. I'll do that then. As long as it gets the connects to the conveyor. You know, that was actually one of the things that I'd noticed uh, with the big mining ship that I built there. Is the conveyors? They're not as fast as they could be. It was actually having trouble pulling me up the amount of stone it was processing th into the refineries. The refiner refineries were processing something like 50,000 kilos of stone a second. And it just couldn't pull it in. It was doing about two a second. Uh, what else is it looking for? Any motors? Do I have any motors? Uh, no, I don't. But I can make a few. That will not take long. Maybe cheap, but it works. Ah, uh, the finer thing in life. I do gotta admit, though, I really like this area. I'm probably gonna set up like the the staging area I was talking about. Probably gonna go up there. Uh, we will have to do some testing to see exactly how high I can fly here. See if I can actually fly up there. I need more motors, which should be done. Whoa. Mm, yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, displays. Give me a sec. Alright, I am almost at the iron. Just about there. From what I can see on the on the on the surface, it's actually quite deep. Or quite wide I should say. I always look up my tunnel look back at my tunnel to make sure I'm not going straight down because I try not to use jetpack fuel coming out if I if I can. You know, there's no point in wasting it. Fortunately, we can actually climb up pretty steep hills. There's that good stuff. The red veins, the blood of our society, iron. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna gather up a whole bunch of stuff and I'll be back at the refinery. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, actually, it didn't take very long. What I am gonna do, since I made some extra girders, I'm gonna go ahead and finish that one up. Here we go down here. 
try not to kill myself. I turn my jetpack off. And we're going to fire at this bad boy. Sadly, this is only the basics, so I'm not going to be able to refine like gold and uranium yet. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to find out what I did with the rest of that cobalt. There it is. And let's get that going. I probably won't need it for a little while because I do have some already made and we don't need a ton of it, but it's there. It's being produced. And now, the fun part. Thousand frames. Twelve, actually. Because we need to get to the big refinery. What else do we need for that? Steel tubes. Steel tubes, I actually think I have enough grids, but that is not an issue. Not enough power. Really? Oh yeah, this thing. Well, in that case, let's actually just shut the refinery off because I don't need the cobalt right now. So that is running through. I still have tons of iron. That should be enough to make what I need. But yeah, with that, I think... Uh, We'll call this one here and uh, get a little bit more processing done after this. And then yeah, we'll see where we we'll go from there. Like I said, we're, the next step is going to be getting the big refinery up and uh, maybe get some, maybe some automation going. I don't know. I've been thinking about some ideas for little mining machines. It's not going to be the mining machine I had the first first time around. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll try to get some machines with uh, arms and stuff like that and see how things go. But anyways, uh, once again, I apologize for having to restart this, you know, I've had enough, enough server bugs in my time, you know, like I said uh, many times before in my videos, I've played Hellion. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, with that, uh, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.